change management and manual correction of holes so inside of the cut opening we have a set of tools that can help you to work with openings after they will be inserted into the model so one of the tools are map opening revision so if you have any changement in the model you can review that using MEP opening revision tool so for example if I will move this element to the other position I can go to the MEP openings revision and it will automatically find that we have some elements that have been changed uh, now so you can see that the opening is marked and the wall is marked right now so after you check this you can go to modify the openings so after I will click it will review the changement and you will see that the opening pops back to the needed place in accordance to the MEP line based object for example if I will delete this object and again if I will go to MEP openings revisions you will see that we have deleted elements so if I will modify our model you will see that we have no more openings for that deleted MEP line based object Another possibility is joining the openings manually. So you know that we can uh, we can have the configurations for auto joining of the elements, but still, if you need to auto join some elements manually, we can do that. So for example, we have two holes over there, and if we want to join them. We can use join and join openings functionality from cut opening. So after I will click on it, our solution will automatically join the openings. Let's review that in a 3D view. So you can see that we have auto joined openings. For example, I will take this and this opening and I will again join them. So as you can see, we have one opening for free. MEP land based objects. Anytime if it's needed, you can unjoin these openings using the same button. As you can see, we have three openings right now. The openings has lots of possibilities to work after they will be distributed into the model so if I if you will take the opening you will find all parameters that are available for such opening so you can additionally add top or bottom cut offsets and they will be done here in the model as well you can change the dimensions of H and B that means the width and height as well you will see who inserted that opening what was the insertion configurations and when the openings were inserted as well you will see the opening mark that depends on the service that we have for example it's a pipe hour let's check yes we have the system type hour system classification hour and this is the pipe so you are able to review all your needed all your needed parameters as well you can see that we have opening elevation parameter opening shape parameter that i was talking about in the very first video